Hey love, so today we're gonna do an old fashioned favorites video. This isn't really, I guess it could be a September favorites because we are at the very end of September by the time this goes up. We will definitely be into the beginning of October. So let's just call it a September favorites, current favorites video. Um, there isn't a ton of stuff, but there's definitely a few things that I am excited to talk to you guys about. You've probably heard about them in recent videos. Most of them anyway, a couple are oldies but goodies and we're bringing them back because the weather is changing and sometimes you need to change your primers and your skincare when it gets to winter because it's much drier, you need more hydration. So we definitely have some stuff to talk about. Almost everything besides the little eyeshadow palettes, which no surprise are from Dose of Colors. Um, then I'm gonna talk about in this video, everything else. Most of this is super, super affordable. So if you're excited about all of that, you are in the right place, just keep watching. Please subscribe if you have not already. We upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and more here on my channel. Let's get into it. What? I'm gonna start with the two things for skin that I've been using again recently because it has gotten colder here. It dropped really, really quickly in temperature here. Um, like we got like, it's always like you get two minutes of fall and right now it almost feels like winter. It's 45 degrees right now, 45 degrees. It's chilly, it's chilly and that happened really quick. <laughs> My best friend just got married and on her wedding day on Saturday, it was snowing, it was freezing. It was so, 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 so cold. It was like 32 degrees or something that night ridiculous. I haven't had my nails done since before I started YouTube. Like I legit think that's a thing. I don't think that I've had them done since I've had a YouTube channel. Uh, but again, since my best friend got married, I got my nails done and I absolutely love them. Of course, I cannot afford to keep this up. Uh, but for a special occasion, it was a thing. I was made of honor. So it was an excuse to get them done. Don't mind my poorly fake tanned hands. Uh, I love them. I can't wait to make them matte black though because spooky season is here. Anyway, let's jump into this. I'm rambling. Okay, so the two things that I have been using again that I wasn't really using as much over summer, um, but I'm definitely using again every day. I always use an eye cream, but I forgot about this guy for a minute. He like fell down in my makeup caddy. Uh, so we're using the Revolution Pro Under Eye Primer in Hydrate. And this is really hard to see, but this is the Hydrate Primer from Revolution. Absolutely love these. You can use a moisturizer and this. I am one of those multi-priming people where I put one primer on my nose, one primer on my cheeks, and one primer on the perimeter of my face because I feel like all of those areas of my face need different things. So I've definitely been using the Hydrate on the outside area of my face because that's where I'm most dry, like all around here. Um, and then I put like a pore filling primer here and a mattifying primer here because no matter what time of year, my nose is oily. Um, and then of course, this is an under eye primer. You can just use an eye cream. I just like this one, it's super affordable. This tiny two black a long time because it's such a small area under your eyes. I just use like a not maybe like a half pea sized amount between both eyes each day. Um, so I just love these, super affordable. I think this guy's like 10 bucks and this guy's like seven. Um, of course, everything will be linked down below, but you guys know I'm a revolution fan for life. Why don't we go ahead and get the other revolution thing like out the way? So I have mixed feelings about this. This is the waterproof revolution mascara. My favorite mascara of all time, the Mascara Revolution. Wearing it on my lower lashes today. Absolutely love this one. Doesn't really smudge on me at all, but if you need something that's not gonna move, oh my gosh. I put this on myself and I had Amanda wear it at her wedding. And of course she was crying because she's the bride. That's what happens. You know, you get emotional and I just wanna make sure that I wasn't gonna have mascara down my face because if I do cry or get water on my face or anything like that, my eyes water, I do get some running with the original one. So I have the waterproof one here. It is so black. It makes your lashes look so good, but it is so hard to get off. I have never had a mascara that has been this difficult to get off of my lashes ever. Ever, you definitely have to use a cleansing oil or something. I wash my face twice in the shower. Um, I've used this a few times and every time I use it, I'm like, why did I use it? But for a special occasion, like a wedding or some instance where you need your mascara to stay on, like stay put all day, um, or if you don't mind working to get your mascara off, then this is a great one. Um, I love the color of it. I wish it was easier to get off so I could wear it most days, but when you're in like a situation where you really need something that's gonna last, this is a great one. So I just wanted to give it a mention, a warning and a mention. It's great. It's perfect for what it is, um, but it's not my everyday preference, but for when it's, oh, I can't remember this, but for when it's needed, it's amazing. All right, this is probably not gonna be a surprise to anyone if you saw my recent video about this foundation. This is the AOA Studio like Drop Foundation. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is $1.88 on shopmissnay.com. It is amazing. I would say it's my number two right now, like even over Conceal and Hydrate, not over Conceal and Define. Conceal and Define is like my favorite foundation of all time, but this is beautiful. I feel like this looks a lot like it, 
with a little less blurring, like a little less matte, if that makes sense. The finish of it kind of reminds me of MAC Studio Fix on my face anyway. I have porcelain and then fair ivory. When I don't have any self tan on, I use just porcelain and that actually turned out better and matched me better after that video. If you watch this video, I'll be sure to put it in the cards or link it down below or something, or you can always just go find it on my channel. Obviously these are, I bought these for when I'm not I'm so tan right now. <laughs> if you are the same shade as me when I'm not self tanned, then porcelain is definitely a winner. It's fair for sure. I'll just go ahead and swatch it. But if you guys want an in-depth video with a wear test and everything, I have that already. So this is porcelain. They both oxidize the tiniest bit, especially fair ivory. Have 15 shades. So I think that they have a decent shade range for them because Shotma say a lot of their products you get like five options and that's it. So I will take 15 and you can definitely get a couple because they're so affordable and mix and match. They don't have a full ounce. They are only 0.64 ounces, but think about it. Even if you needed to buy two and you wanted to like compare it to something else, it's still only $4. It's a good foundation, especially for $1.88. Like you, you cannot beat it. Okay, right, another complexion product. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. A lot of people were calling this a dupe of Shape Tape, so I did film a dupe video to see if it was. It is pretty close, but I feel like nothing really top Shape Tape. You definitely have to hydrate your under eyes with this one. I feel like it's a little bit drier than Shape Tape, and I don't know what it is about... How many times can I say Shape Tape? Shape tape on my under eye. I just live for it. It's my favorite. It'll always be my favorite. If I ever find anything else that's better than that, I don't even know. But a drugstore option, if you can't afford shape tape and you want something similar, I definitely like this one. I feel like this one, the coverage is closer than Conceal and Define by Revolution, which is like the notorious dupe of shape tape. I love them both. I like it. I do. What is this shade? This is Golden Ivory, which would probably be a decent shade for me right now. Ooh. Maybe it's still too late for me right now. Why am I so tan? Don't sleep in your self tan, guys. When I'm not self tan, this is actually like too dark. I don't know. I'm rambling. I don't know what I'm saying. I feel like I'm talking this down, even though it's one of my favorites. I'm still very, very impressed with this. I just have such a creature of habit. And when I find something that's perfect, it's hard to eat that. But if you were looking to try a new one, this is a great one. I'm a fan. It's good. All right, we have another AOA product. This is another palette lighter. I absolutely love the palette lighters. This one is in Nebula. I do have it on today. I put a tiny bit of white on top of it, barely though. Um, but this alone is much more gold. I'll swatch it for you guys. If you are, even if you're just light skin tone, it's not a dark gold by any means. I think when I'm at my fairest though, this will be too dark for me. See, it's got like little bits of glitter in it. Not a lot, not like a ton of glitter, but there is a little bit of like silver glitter. So I feel like that helps with the reflection. And of course this applied wet is like, it's, that's what's on my cheek that's applied wet. Okay, let's swatch it really quick. So I want you guys to be able to see just this without the additional color on top. Oh my gosh, it's so, look at that. Dang, this is dry, this is wet. Oh my gosh, these palette lighters are like turned up a ton. So if you want a more subtle highlight, definitely use them dry. If you want like a bling in, wow, wow, yeah. Gorgeous. Plus I feel like that lightens it too when you dampen it. I feel like it gets brighter. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. The reflection is just insane. So again, this one is Nebula of the palette lighters from AOA. They're messy, but they're worth it. They're a dollar. A dollar. Okay, so the two palettes I want to talk about are from those colors. If you saw my recent tutorial, which pro yeah, you'll probably see this before you see this tutorial, but the last tutorial I did, the fall makeup look with those of colors, uh, this is the palette that I use. This is the Sassy Sienna's. These are a little pricey. I'm not gonna lie. They are a pretty penny for such a small palette and had they not been sent to me, I could not afford them. So I just want to be real with you guys, but they are really beautiful. If you can afford it, why not? If you want it, I definitely think that it lives up to the hype. So again, this one is Sassy Sienna's. I'm not gonna really swatch them because I swatched them all in that video. Um, but this one is beautiful. I haven't had a chance to use this other one, but I still want to show you guys because so many of you have tried this one and that one and say that one's even better than this one. And I love this one. Uh, so I cannot wait to put this one on my face. I just thought I'd include it because it's absolutely gorgeous. And it's gonna be, these two for fall are just so. This center shade, oh my goodness, you guys. This palette is so beautiful. So this is the Blushing Berries palette. I just, I can't even, it, it's insane insane how beautiful this is. So I just really think those are cute. All right, loves. Well, I think that is everything for this month's favorites. I need to get better at putting them up because I know you guys really do enjoy them. And I miss favorites videos. Anytime I see anyone upload one, I'm like, 
girl, I gotta check it out. Because I always love to know what people are loving, what they're using, what they're genuinely liking at the moment because I don't try a lot of new makeup right now. For the thousand millionth time, how many times can I talk about what a budget I'm on? So it's just nice to see what's worth investing in and I love just knowing what people really like. I wish favorites videos would just come back and like be a thing. All right, love, so that is everything. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it if you could because it does help me out so, so much. And please subscribe if you have not already. We upload videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and more. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload. I love you guys so much. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Just keep <laughs> these bangs drive me crazy. Speaking of crazy. Girl, true blend. I'm <laughs> oh,